Hi, in this video we're going to give you a brief overview of the System Informer app. So this app could do a bunch of things, monitoring your system, uh, check for problems, kill processes, that type of thing. So it's kind of like a all-in-one uh, location utility rather than having to go to, you know, separate Windows locations, you know, like a task manager or device manager, that type of thing. So once you download it, it's free, just install it. You run it here. So you can see we have several tabs. So, you know, first one is processes. It'll show all the processes here. And you could do things like right click on them. If you want to terminate, suspend, restart, debug, set different affinities, set a boost, priorities, send to. If you want to do like analysis of it, you could do that. It'll open up in that page and tell you what that process does. So if something looks a little suspicious, you could try that. Copy it, check the properties. And so under properties, there's all kinds of stuff. Let's kind of go through these tabs real quick here. And obviously, depending on which uh, process you pick, you're going to have different information here. Then you could open the file location if you want to do that as well. Okay, then we have the services tab, which shows you your Windows services. And of course, you could sort by name, status. So here's everything that's running, the type, the start type. You could actually modify it from here too. If you want to stop it, restart it, delete it, go to the actual process. Open the file location, check the properties. And the same thing if you want to give really get a little information about it. Then we have network. So here's all the connections. So I don't really have much going on. So most of it's just Chrome and then also other ports waiting for a connection here. Shows you the uh, remote port name, the protocol, the state, the owner, a local and remote address. You can ping it from here. Which is kind of cool. Do a trace route, who is, look up is nice as well. Go to the process, copy. Then we have the disk here, so it'll take a second to read it. Actually, I take that back. You need to start in uh, admin mode, so let's just do that and go back into it. So right click, run as administrator. So now it's starting to populate uh, disk read and write information. And of course, as you start using your computer, opening more apps and stuff, it should uh, start loading some more stuff in there. So right there, you can see Edge just start taking over. And you have you know, the same type of things here, go to process, open file location, inspect, properties. All right, then we have the firewall. This takes a minute to populate as well. Okay, so it shows you what the firewall is doing, allowing, dropping, uh, shows you the rules if they're outbound or inbound, description, addresses, ports, host name, remote address, just like that. Same thing, right click, ping, trace route. Same types of options. And then we have devices. So this is kind of like device manager. You're going to get a bunch of these generic bus. So you just got to minimize these. So you can right click on it, refresh, show disconnected devices, go to the service, enable, disable, restart, uninstall, open the registry key for it. Copy it, properties. Yeah, typical properties you'd get in device manager. That's kind of nice as well. Then on the top here, we have some system information. So you open that and it kind of gives you kind of like a resource utilization, uh, CPU, memory, IO, GPU, disk, and network. So if you kind of keep this running while you run stuff and see if it's uh, taking its toll on your hardware there. And you got your file handles and DLS. So let's say you do a search, let's do Adobe. 
So you can see what's going on with Adobe on your system. Uh, for types, you know, threads and keys, processes, files. That comes in handy too. Then you have some options up here, lots of options actually. Um, so I will just kind of go through each thing and you could pause the video if you want to see it rather than trying to discuss what each uh, section does here. Okay, like that. And you have, you know, your typical menu items here. If you run, if you want to run something new, you could do that. Actually, back to services, you could also there it is, create a service under the tools menu if you want to make your own service, which is nice. But back here, save more options, computer. If you want to, you know, lock or shut down the computer. Got your view options here. The tray icon down here, set to CPU history. Tools. You can start task manager and resource monitor right from here. Uh, users. So if you have other users logged in, I believe you could come here and manage them you know, send a message and then it would pop up on their screen type of thing. Uh, check for updates and log. So like, as you can see here, there's a bunch of stuff it does. So I just kind of briefly went over most of the stuff here. So I've kind of noticed that the more I use it, the more little tools that I find. So you probably have the same thing happen to you. So I will put a link in the description where you could download this and you can install it and try it out for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.